Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm going to be doing how to downgrade from iOS 7.1.2, iOS 7.1.1, iOS 7 in general, back to iOS 6.1.3. So, as you guys know, if you've seen me before, I've done this tutorial before, but what actually happened was um, a lot of you guys didn't get it, a lot of you guys didn't understand how to do it, and that's why I'm doing it again. So, all you need is these couple of files that you see here. Um, these two files, which is um, the Geekgrade IPSW. The Geekgrade IPSW is without a jailbreak and with a jailbreak. So I'll be posting a download link on my website and also in the link in the, in the description if you guys go and check it down there. Um, all you have to do is download it. It will come up with this, which is the custom IPSW RAW. You double click on it, it will come up with um, WinRAW which you guys also need to download, you just double click on that and it will give you the two IPSWs here, you can choose out of which one you want to download um, so as you can see this is definitely jailbroken so you can do it from a jailbroken device at the start it's definitely up to you when you want to do it and how you want to do it so actually let's get started and stop wasting time so all you need to do is get all you um, these couple of files which I'll post a link to on my website and I will also post a link in the description um, just get these couple of files which is Red Snow, iReb which one out of these guys you want which is the with the jailbreak and without a jailbreak you can choose which one you want and the uh, 6.0 IPSW and iTunes patch um, this is a tethered jailbreak some of you guys told me I didn't tell you that until the end of the video this is a tethered, the tethered download, downgrade sorry so you will have to boot with Red Snow every time your your device turns off or your device powers down or you run out of battery you will have to actually boot it with Red Snow so to get started you need to get iRep and run it as administrator so I didn't run it as administrator as you just saw so I have to cancel it out and run it as administrator so once you've run it as administrator you'll see something like this um, you will also need this USB cable here and you will need uh, that there so what you're going to need to do here is you're going to plug your device in to your computer and you're going to put it into DFU mode so I would suggest plugging it in and then putting it into DFU mode so you can definitely know when it's in DFU mode so to put it in DFU mode DFU mode you need to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds and let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until you hear that sound that you just heard before so let's get started 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um, let's try that again Oops. you're not meant to see the Apple logo straight away it's just meant to be a black screen so you just wait until it goes away, wait two seconds and let go of the power button oops, let's try that one more time okay I don't know why my phone's not going into DFU mode, let's see this maybe I'm not counting it off properly so it is ten seconds and then you let go and hold the pop um, home button which is meant to be and then once you've got it into DFU mode you're meant to click iPhone 4 so maybe I'm not counting it off properly that's why it's not working for me so so once it's in DFU mode all you have to do is click iPhone 4 um, guys, I'm going to tell you this again, it only works for iPhone 4, it doesn't work for iPhone 4S or any other device, it only works for iPhone 4. Um, once you've done that, you'll get this, um, it's not an error, it's just telling you your device is in DFU mode. Um, you may launch iTunes, shift and restore and custom firmware and you'll get the error. But you won't get the error with this. So once you've clicked that, just cancel out of iRev, your device will be on a black screen, you won't be able to boot it up, you won't be able to turn it on, you won't be able to do nothing. All you have to do is, um, the only way you can boot it up is press the power and the home button um, at the same time and get it out of DFU mode. 
So once you've done that, um, keep it in DFU mode and, and the pwn state of DFU mode guys, remember that. And once you've gotten that, you need to go to iTunes patch. Um, for you, all you guys that are downgrading without the jailbreak, you guys actually have to get iTunes 11.0. So I will put a link to my in my website to downgrade for iTunes 11.0. For all you guys that are not using 11.0, you don't have to get that. For all you guys that um, are, what you need to do is you need to go into music and the iTunes folder here. You need to delete iTunes library dot it, or you can put iTunes library dot rename it to dot old, and it will say if you want to change it, and you just say yes. So once you've changed it here, all you have to do is go back to the folder, which is this one, and run iTunes as administrator. So remember to run it as administrator, and the other one I wasn't very clear about that, but you have to run to iTunes um, ITL as administrator. Um, some guys it will come up with this error, some of you guys it won't, but it doesn't matter, I just click that, and it will come back up with this, and then it will come up with iTunes. I'm sorry this is kind of cut off, I just didn't want to show you guys the rest of my desktop, because there's no point seeing that. So you'll see this, and you'll see it's actually an iPhone 4. Let me just go through it so you guys can actually see it. Um, as you can see, it is an iPhone 4. And all you have to do here is is click Shift on Mac. It is actually Options, and click Restore. Um, so once you've got that, you come up with this pop-up. You go to where you got the IPSWs. You choose which one is yours. So if you're using the other one, you click the other one. If you're using the um, without jailbreak, you click the without jailbreak. If you're using with jailbreak, you click the with jailbreak. So I'm going to click the with jailbreak, and then it will click extracting software. I am showing you guys this on an iPhone 4 CDMA, but you guys can choose which version of yours you want. This... Um, IPSW will be for CDMA people that I put in the description only. For any other iPhone 4 user, you have to get another link which I will put in the description for you guys. So, if you're GSM, I will put a link to GSM, and if you're CDMA, I'll put a link to CDMA. So, that is for you guys. So, let's wait for it. And another thing, guys, do not plug out your device anywhere you during this downgrade until the end where I show you guys that I've actually booted up your devi my device do not plug it out, do not touch the cord or anything because you might plug it out by mistake so let's wait for extracting software to finish and then we'll see what comes up after that so we'll say preparing iPhone, it will go all the way across really fast and your device will come out of DFU mode and go into recovery mode then come out of DFU mode again and go into recovery mode and as you can see there, there is the iPhone um, iOS 6 um, Apple logo and then it will come up with the black geek um, sign once for you all of you guys that are doing with the without jailbreak it will also come up with the black geek sign um, and then it will say waiting for iPhone so once it says waiting for iPhone you guys are on the right track remember you do have to run iTunes patch and the normal iTunes as administrator so don't forget that guys so let's just wait for it to actually get into the downloading before I pause this video again. So let's say verifying iPhone restore and your iPhone will start restoring. As you can see that um, there, it's telling you that it's restoring. So if you guys got this far, well done. At the end I will be showing you what actually happens. So I will pause this video and I'll play it once it's finished restoring. So once the downgrade has been completed, um, I told you guys this before and on the other um, downgrade you will see error code 37. Um, if you guys do not get, if you get anything else but error code 37, um, something went wrong and you did something wrong. Um, if you guys, um, if you guys, if you guys are doing it without the jailbreak, then you won't get error code 37, you'll get some, another error code. So. Once you get that, it will come up with this again. All you need to do is cancel out iTunes. Um, 
the stuff that you did in iTunes has been completed, there's nothing else you have to do in iTunes. So all you need to do now is go back to this downgrade folder and you need to run Red Snow as an ad administrator. Um, this part some of you guys got wrong or something happened, so I'm going to try to explain this as well as possible. Um, you need to run Red Snow as administrator and make sure it says welcome to this latest version of Red Snow. Make sure it says that or something might go wrong um, while you're doing the downgrade. Okay, so once you've got um, op Red, Red Snow open, you need to click on Extras, select IPSW, and you need to select the 6.0 IPSW. Make sure you guys, all you iPhone 4 users, you need to download it for your specific device. I'm 3.3, you guys can download 3.1 or 3.2, it's up to you what your specific device is. So you need to download the 6.0 IPSW, um, double click on that, and it will come up with this saying the following build was identified um, this will be used for the rest of the Red Snow session you just click OK and then for all you guys that are doing it with the jailbreak you click recovery fix um, and you wait for this part to be finished some of you guys told me that um, you got stuck on uploading first stage um, I'm not sure why that is that probably could be that you downloaded the wrong um, IPSW, I'm not sure about that, but it has to be the 6.0 IPSW guys, remember that. So it will go with it and then it will click done and you'll see a bunch of writing on your screen. Don't worry about that, that's just telling you processing the, ja processing the jailbreak because once you click recovery fix you're actually jailbreaking it, but for you guys that are doing it without the jailbreak, once you click recovery fix you are not jailbreaking it because you won't have to click recovery fix. So, once you've done that, all you need to do is quit out of Red Snow and run it as administrator. As you saw, it just came up with the uh, um, Red Snow icon and then it went away quite fast. Now we're back into DFU mode, guys. Um, for all you guys that are not jailbroken, you need to do this. And you guys that are jailbreaking, you need to do this as well. So you need to click select IPSW, um, select the 6.0 IPSW and then click just boot. For you guys that are not jailbreaking, once you open Red Snow, select IPSW 6.0 and then click just boot by itself. You don't click recovery fix. So you guys that are jailbreaking, you need to click recovery fix. Okay, so you click just boot and then it will click exploit in line rain exploit and then it will say waiting for reboot uploading first stage. It will Your device will disconnect a couple of times during this and then it will connect back. So as you can see, Finally, we have the Red Snow icon, and my device is booting up. So what this actually means is that um, the rest of your stuff is done on your device. Um, where it says done on my screen, um, on in Red Snow, that's how you know you're almost finished. Um, you just have to set the rest of it up on your device. So as you can see, we have the iOS 6 Apple logo there, and then we have the small loading bar. Um, this loading bar is just booting our device up, you know when you finish upgrading on iOS 7 it has that loading bar as well, well it's just another version of that, it will go past really fast for um, your iPhone 4, so you, all you have to do is click quit and wait for the loading bar to go across, it will go quite up, past really fast um, guys, so don't you don't have to worry about this, um, how long it's going to take. So as you can see, I skipped that part, but it actually went across really fast, and we're now presented with the Apple logo. And my device is, once again, on iOS 6.1.3. Remember guys, this is a tethered downgrade. I said this at the beginning, so you can't tell me in the comments that I didn't say it early enough. I said it at the beginning, it's a tethered downgrade. So I'm just going to run through the setup and then I'll come back to you guys once I'm on the home screen. So hey guys, I'm back and as you can see it's actually um, on iOS 6 now. For you guys that are not doing the jailbreak, you won't see CDL. For you guys that are doing the jailbreak, you'll see CDL. So this is my downgrade. I hope you guys have liked it. This is X Original Tech. Please like, subscribe and comment. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and share. Um, peace. And I hope you enjoyed.